Welcome to the Peoria Art Guild in our newest exhibition by Dr. Ellsberg Clark. And this is the bar Black Barber Shop. Yes. And it's a place of dignity and pride. Yes. And these are the most remarkable pictures. And I love the fact that you also printed them in black and white. Absolutely. But can you tell us first a little bit about um, the, the well, barber shop that you're well, in? Well, oh, at? yeah. This, well, this, this barber shop is called uh, uh, the Major Barber Shop. It used to be Heads Up, which, which was on Knoxville. But um, the uh, gentleman who owned it moved. And he went into the the major barber shop, which is by the landmark. And the, the reason why I did it because when I was younger, the barber shop was the only place that that we would go, uh, or my father would go, and you hear the local news. Yes. You, you, you hear the the sports, the local news, and people signifying and and just talking. And it, it was it was it was just such a place for Afro Americans to go and just. Bond, because there was no social media, our, <laughs> our, our social media was with the you know the barber shop, you know, or the beauty shop and stuff. So, I, I, uh, this this gentleman, the snaps, he cuts my hair. So we were basically talking about. It. I said, you know, I would love to do a little sort of a portfolio about the barber shop. He said, so sure. So I spoke to the owner. He said, absolutely, and. It was enjoying it. Well, it's, it's remarkable, and it is a cultural event, yes. truthfully. Um, and I think it's almost every culture. I mean, yeah, right. even we can all go back to the days of Absolutely. Andy Griffith and Floyd right. and the barber shop Absolutely. in the small town. So there is so much about social commentary, about discussions that you have there. And I think this wall, when Jeff and I um, installed this, this wall all has them actively cutting hair. This is what we get when you walk in and you have to sit in a chair right. and wait. This is what you see. You see all these people that are really magnificent artists. I mean, I know I teach down in at Roosevelt and Jeff teaches okay. at Re, uh, Tree Wynn and it's so important when our kids get a haircut and the lining, they're so proud of it. And I think that's where the dignity and pride part comes from. And it's so different. Um, back in the day, when I had more hair and, 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 the, and the afros, we would, you would just shave it or, or just get it styled. But now, as you can see, all the different types of hair, especially the kids have, yes, you yes. know, nowadays. And, and also here, like you have the braids and whatnot. And the intricacy uh, that, that they do, they're almost like uh, surgical skills because you have to do, but they do so many they things. Do. And I think it, it is important to realize that um, hair is a very important part yes. of many cultures, not just the African American. Absolutely. But with the African American, you know, down at Woodruff High School, um, well, it's a training center, vocational training center now, but they have a braiding. Um, program where they the students get a certificate for braiding and it's really? mostly African American. It's really? all about African American. Um, I think this one is the one where we've got these individual portraits of artists that are so involved in what they're doing and the concentration. And then I especially love these yes. last two with this young man here who is his getting name is, his, his name is Damon <laughs> and and his uh, the person who, who who brought him here was uh, Miss Lori Roth, fantastic woman. And she, uh, she um, is involved with him, and he's at her at home, I believe. And she and she brought him down. So I asked him, "Would you mind if I if I uh, would would photograph Davon's hair?" She said, "Sure." And we've been in contact since. Then. I think Marcus knows her also. Yeah. I think this one is one yes. of my favorites because the expression on his and that the. The intensity of looking you do at it, it right. Did you run, did you get it right. You and then, you know what? Even though he's young, he's a customer, and he yeah. has to be satisfied. That's right. Or yeah. else. And I think that that's one thing that people don't always understand. That this is an, a time when people are talking about what's happening in the neighborhood, right. but also within the city, and everybody feels welcome. I have to laugh because we look at these things, and then we have a picture over here of some of the barber's um, equipment, oh, some sure. clips and some scissors and all of that. But it's we all remember that. We remember going to the barber and how they had their own set of, of scissors that were so important, and this made them it, it, it's, their, the barber that they wanted to be. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's like a surgical, you know, for example, in the hospital, you'd have all your different surgical tools, and they have theirs, and yes, they do. For, for different kinds of 
hairstyles and things like that. Well, and even and chefs have different knives. Right. So, so really, this is such an artistry it's, that I think people kind of um, don't salons. elevate it to that that Correct. part. I know that um, they get recognition when they have conventions and things like that. Right. But I think on the daily um, life that we don't really understand how important it is to have your hair done correctly <laughs> and to make you feel good. And I think that's the other thing. It's a great self-esteem thing. We have also some of your books and um, on both the beauty shop and the barber yes. and then also a, a calendar. So if anyone's interested, they can certainly come to the Art Guild and look for those. Um, I, we, Jeff and I particularly love this piece because this is what, what do you do when you bring the kid there and you have to wait? You always have these books and there are these children's books and then they're updated magazines. Exactly. And that's what it's all about because no one really read them. They were talking. It was all about communication all about and about communication. In informing each other and I think that this, is, yeah, this is just such a it's a sweet portrait but it is the, the brother or sister they're trying to help him yes. and it's just it's, it's wonderful it's and, just, and she was she was looking at her brother who was in the, the barber's chair <laughs> she said, oh yeah she was oh yeah let me take a look and then we love this picture because of course this is um, a rare moment because I know that every time we ever went to a barber shop, it, we never there was no one ever just sitting there doing nothing. But here we and and again it's a perfect portrait because he's in his environment. He's got all of the things that make this his spot, you know, and his I did place in also in the shop. because if you look at the mirrors, you have one, two, three. So because um, I wanted to get that perspective. Yeah. It's it's truly their studio. It yes, is. Yes. It is a studio, and it's just. I mean, it's just amazing. And I love the fact that they carry the theme with the Major League Baseball, yeah. and they have the bat. Yes. They have all that. And then here we have uh, <laughs> someone. I don't know if that's the same no, child, no. but this is here. We have this young um, child that's. You know, he's he's cooperating very well. Oh yeah, and yeah. which is really great because and I can hair remember is different. Some, yeah, his you know. hair is different, but. But Snap, uh, mm -hmm. who's the barber, I mean, he, again, you have to know everybody's style. Mm -hmm. Because when you come in, oh, yeah, that's that's Dr. Clark, or that's John Jones yeah. stuff. So this is how he likes his hair. It, it, it's just amazing. It, it's just amazing. And then these last two, <laughs> I think, are the best <laughs> representation of before and after, almost yeah. after, where he's he was just like, you know, I don't really want to do this. Right. He, Why am I doing this? He is just... <laughs> And that I expression is that it, it is it is it is so wonderful and it is so different. But then you look at him over here and he's just yeah, he's as smiling. happy as can be and and you actually really hear you get to see the, the artistry, you know, with him clipping and he's got a yeah. brush and you know he knows exactly what he's gonna do and it's gonna make this young man happy. Oh know? yes. They're very happy. They're and very then is this last portrait, is this who is this? Is uh, this is actually Snap's brother. Okay. Who, who works at, at uh, Heads Up, which is uh, now on War Memorial. But uh, he was he, he was uh, a photo, uh, he was uh, shooting this uh, uh, gentleman cutting this gentleman's hair. Yeah. So they they actually brothers. One is at one shop and one is at the other shop. Well, and I think that's that is one of the things I know down at Woodruff that we really do want to impress upon the children, the students, is the fact that you can have a craft that you can make money at. Absolutely. And that this is something, and some people do it for their lives, but and some do just well. do it for a while to get into some other career or something. And I think it just really, it, it talks about your, your subtitle of a gathering place of pride and dignity. I think that that's so important, that it's not just a barber shop, that it really is a greater experience than just getting your hair cut. Absolutely, and I, I want to thank the Guild, the Guild for allowing me to show these. these well, movies. it's always a privilege, and we'll be looking forward to the beauty shop <laughs> yes. some time yes. in the future. Absolutely. Thank you so much, and we thank really you. appreciate it. I appreciate it, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Clark. Thank you.